So he This happened, and I'm delighted to be able to sign it. Makes a lot of difference for opportunity for any president. Yes, it does, and that's what I was with some of them. Yes, it works. It works. You yeah. can't be able to go to some And a group picture taken. Now, are we going to have comments? Yeah, I had one more. have been slashed 
it's a situation that greatly concerns all of us here, certainly me. In my view, it's not simply an oil and gas patch problem, but a matter of vital concern for every American. And the fact is that every American needs a strong and competitive oil and gas industry for our national security. And I want you to know that we're continuing to do concrete things to help the industry without dragging big government back into your lives. We're fighting for deep control of natural gas prices and transportation reform to increase production and demand. And we're also seeking a repeal of laws that restrict the use of natural gas. We stood up for maintaining tax incentives for petroleum exploration and drilling. We're working to lift government barriers to energy exploration on federal lands and the outer continental shelf. We've lifted government regulation that would have forced the capping of stripper wells and I've ordered a review of other ways to cut regulation on our marginal well production. I've called for Congress to put an end to the counterproductive and unnecessary windfall profits tax. And we're trying to fill the strategic petroleum reserve with oil produced here in America. As I announced last week during my visit to Louisiana, I have asked Secretary Harrington to carry out a high-level review of, a, of America's energy-related national security concerns. America must never again be left dependent on, on unreliable foreign sources of oil. Senators Phil Graham and Don Nichols have been working with Chairman Jim McClure to construct a, uh, to structure a new measure to further address these energy problems. And I also know that you, Hanson, and you both have been advancing the same package on the House side. And I'd like to ask you to give us some of the specifics on exactly what you have in mind for this new oil and gas revitalization legislation, but first let me ask John Harrington and then Don Hodel if they want to add something to what I've outlined concerning our efforts on behalf of the oil and gas patch. Don? Or John, I mean? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. As you so rightly pointed out, there's, there's a need to do something now in the short term, and, and we have obviously
sanctions because they want to make a situation. And you know, Tutu can get his name in the paper anytime he wants, not television at all. But there's another bishop down there named Mokana. That's right. Who has more than Tutu in, in his following. And they don't want it at all. But you never hear of that. And Budweiser comes here and nobody can get him on the talk shows. And That's uh, right. Close shop. Well, we thank you so much for your leadership. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for your time. God you. bless your heart. Thank well, keep pushing your heart. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have, this is Dave and Marie walking out here. Marie, you taught her a swimming lesson. Yes. Lowell Park. And this is my granddaughter, Barb Marie, who is president. Dave Walking is president. Hi, how are you? Fine, nice to see you. I've got a little something for you. You might use it later. This came from Marie Seniors. Thanks, I was going through it. You stand the president's right here. We can get some pictures out of his family. That came, that came uh, some of her things, and I thought you might. Oh. Well, for heaven's sakes. Now there was one other. This is for me? No, no, no. So we thought we would enjoy it. There was one other thing. I thought I'd try and cash in. <laughs> now turn over. <laughs> well, I've got a larger one. You're going to have to sign. Tell me, has she taught you to swim? <laughs> but I can still swim, though. <laughs> you taught me well. There's one of the old lodge. That's the old lodge, yeah. yes. Oh, yes. That's her mother and dad. I don't know whether you remember it. You probably wouldn't remember them at all. Well, now this one, I hate, I hate to take up your busy day. That's the old horse that used to pull the lawn. Oh, sure. <laughs> and that was the first one that ever got me started where I ended up in the horse. <laughs> was old Carl, who uh, ran the lodge, and he did all of this maintenance work and everything. He'd come down there like on a quiet day and be sitting out there and lunch the run, I mean people at the beach. And he'd bring he'd run the horse down bareback. Is that right? And so he dared me once to get up on it and I wound up once in a while when he'd come down uh, eagerly yeah, looking forward to it, riding that old gray horse around. around. Now well, you can have all except this one. If you'd like to keep them in a for you, your for your shoe. All right. Well now wait a minute, I've got I've got to do that. I can do it real formal like in the Oval Office, or I can do it like it real informal like. Good. Uh, which one do you want? It, <laughs> this is the Oval Office. That's the one. All right. All right. And while you're writing your name on that, can you write your name on that one? You know that? Yes. Is this for him or for yeah, that's for him. <laughs> that's for him. You know, and they say when you get to the well, drink hearty. But I hate to, I hate to take up your time. Uh, Jimmy and I won't. I'll just make it informal to Jimmy. I didn't know he was going to do that, Mr. President. <laughs> I don't know where he got that picture. Certainly good of you, though. When people find out you, he's got a whole bag full of. Things when people find out you have clearance to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody jumps on the bandwagon. All right. That's that. Dave and There's Marie a young lady over there at his office that had that. Oh. And yours is the only one that's missing. I wonder how many. It's got to be in the thousands now of these. But you know, it's the first and only time. There's never been four presidents right. in the White House no, before at the same time. And how many of these must have been put out because I'm still oh, signing them ever since all oh, they come. With you. Yeah, and uh, how the people get them, I don't know. I, don't know, know. I wish I'd I wish I had yeah. hold of this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's K-A-E. K-A-E-D-E-R. 
That's why I married her. Oh. <laughs> she knew the president of the United States. But in that report to, uh, from the Olmstead brothers on the park, they give directions on how the park should be run and what the superintendent should do and what the oh. people of the board should do and what they should not do. I thought you might. Well, you know, the park, actually, it's, it, uh, they had to get a special law in the state passed in order for Dixon to own the park because it's outside the city limits. But the name of why is Lowell. That's James Russell Lowell, the poet. Mm -hmm. It was his family oh, really? that owned the adjoining estate. And uh, they gave that land with the terms that it must be kept, a nat natural park. They would allow just the merest of facilities there, like for the swimming or picnicking mm -hmm. and so forth. But everything had to remain as nature meant it. And he wrote to a waterfowl there, right. looking up the river past Lowell Park. And that was from that was a memorial. Uh, that was a, a little house, or not a little house, but a little uh, gazebo, uh, sort of gazebo that was there. And I think there was something like that. And the plaque yeah. was in there. Yeah. Well, Mr. President, there. Thank you. Well, that I supported your veto of the line of the thing, too, and you were right. Thank you very much. We're proud of you. And it's, it's very touchy, touch and go right now. This has been wonderful. Thank you very well, much. Good to see you. You still swim. That's good. <laughs> Most important. Uh, right. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.